It's story time with Howie and Skip and your friends at Monkey See. It's story time, let's grab a book and now it's time to read. Let's dive into the pages and see what we will find. Adventures, explorations, and silly little rhymes. There's danger and mystery and lots and lots of fun. We might travel around the world before the story's done. The words are flying off the pages and soaring through my mind. So bring your imagination, cause now it's story time. The words are flying off the pages and soaring through my mind. So bring your imagination, cause now it's story time. Story time with Howie and Skip and your friends at Monkey See. It's story time, let's grab a book and now it's time to read. It's story time with Howie and Skip and your friends at Monkey See. It's story time, let's grab a book and now it's time to read. Howie and Skip's Story Time Bible Stories How God Made Everything. Howie, what time is it? It's nine o'clock, Skip. Well, didn't Miss Krista say story time was at nine? That's what she said. She should be here any minute. We're right on time. Well, what if she meant nine o'clock at huh? night? We uh -uh. might be way too early. Skip, Miss Krista wouldn't have story time at night. She knows we'd be sleeping. Oh. Then what's taking her so long? What time is it now? Nine o'clock, just like last time you asked me. Howie, are you sure your watch is working properly? It can't still be nine. Hi, Howie. Hi. Hi. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. I am so glad that you made it for story time. Well, I'm so glad you came. I thought you forgot about us. We've been waiting here since nine o'clock, you know. Skip, I would never miss story time. Don't you know that reading books is one of my very favorite things to do in the whole wide world? But it's nine o'clock, we're right on time. So what are you talking about? What? That can't be right. Howie's watch has been stuck at nine forever. Maybe Howie's watch is broken. Yep, it's broken. Sorry, Skip. I don't know why my watch isn't functioning properly. That's okay. But can we please read a story now? I really want to read a story. Of course we can. What about you kids at home? Would you like to hear a story? Yeah. yeah. I brought one of my very favorite stories today. It's called, How God Made Everything. Do you know this story, Gabriella? I do. What about you, Howie? Do you know this story? Yeah. And Skip, do you know this story, How God Made Everything? Uh, maybe. I don't remember. Well, that's okay. Today's story comes from the Bible, from the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse one. It's an amazing story. It's full of suspense and intrigue. <gasps> And adventure? <laughs> Sounds like a kind of story you'd like to hear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can we read it now? Absolutely. <laughs> Day one. In the beginning, the very first day. Wow. The first day ever? Yes, Howie. This was the first day to ever exist. Yeah, Howie, <laughs> it's the first day. Nothing comes before one. That's right, Skip, except for zero, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> God created, and it happened this way. What way? I'm going to tell you right now, Skip. Oh. <laughs> God spoke, and as words came from him with power, oh. let there be light. That light was created that very first hour. Oh. Do you think God's voice sounds like thunder? I don't know, but it must have been very powerful if he could create light with just his words. 
That's right, you guys, and that's what the Bible tells us. Then God divided the dark from the light. The light he called day. And the darkness he called night. night. Wow, you guys are really good at helping me tell this story. The Bible says it happened this way, and evening and morning were called the first, first day. day. Very good. I'm glad God created the light. I'm not a fan of darkness. Yeah, I definitely need a night light. When I go to sleep, I wish it were light all the time. Then we'd never have to go to sleep. <laughs> that would not be a good idea, Howie. But I try to imagine sometimes what it would be like if God never created the light. What do you think it would be like to be in darkness, Gabriella? Well, let me close my eyes and see. How do you like that? Not very much. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens on day two. Day two. On the second day, God made something new. What did he make? He divided the waters and he made the sky blue. Wow, that is such a beautiful blue sky. Like my shirt. That's right, Skip. The firmament called heaven he made. And evening and morning were the? Second day. Can you put up two fingers? I can. Two fingers for day two. Very good. What happens on day three? Well, let's keep reading and we'll see. Day three. The third day was busy. God made both of these. He called the land earth and the waters were seas. Wow. God must have been really busy. The earth is huge and there's so much water. How could he make all that? Well, that's the amazing power of God. Uh -huh. He can do anything. Then the earth brought forth grass and fruit trees with seeds. Like bananas? Bananas are the best. <laughs> yes, Howie. On the third day, God made the banana trees. Oh, yummy. Wow, the green grass is so pretty. Are those kiwis? Oh, oranges. Look at that. He was dressing the earth to take care of our needs. What does dressing mean? It means that he was preparing the earth for the animals and man that he was going to create. Oh. All of this happened as he spoke the word, and evening and morning made this day the? Third. Third. All right, put up another finger. Three fingers for three days of creation. Day four. Day four was a great one, for God made the lights. He made one to rule days and one to rule nights. I know which light rules the day, the sun. He made the sun. That's right, Gabriella. Do you guys know which light God created to rule the night? I do, I do, Miss Krista. Can I say it? Go ahead, Skip. The moon. God made the moon. Good job, Skip. The sun is the greater, and it rules the day. It's bright and gives light to show us the way. The moon he called lesser, with light not as bright. But it serves its purpose and shines through the night. It looks so big. I love the moon. It makes me feel happy. I don't know why, but the moon follows me around. 
Really? It follows me around too. Did you know the moon's made of rock? Yeah, it's definitely not made of cheese. No, <laughs> it's definitely not made of cheese. These lights would be used to mark seasons and signs. Oh. So magnificent. In the heavens, he also placed stars there to shine. Wow, that is so beautiful. Did you know that because of the great lights God made, we can mark the days, the weeks, the months, and the years? Hey, I just learned about the seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Very good, Skip. And we can mark those seasons because of the lights that God created. And evening and morning made it day four. four. But God wasn't done. He created some more. Wow, he's still creating? I think I would be too tired by now. He's made so many things. Are you ready to see what happens on day five? Yeah. Day five. Howie, since you like ornithology, I know you'll like uh -huh. this day. The fifth day of creation, the sky <gasps> filled with birds. Look, Miss Krista, cattle egrets. All kinds were created as God spoke the words. What storks? Gulls. Pigeons. A goose. A pelican. This is the best day ever. I knew you'd like this day, <laughs> Howie. Here are just a few of the birds God created. Toucan and Robin, Flamingo and Coot. Eagle and Osprey, the owl that hoots. I can hoot like an owl, see? Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. But not every owl hoots the same way. There are barn owls, remember when I held one? And there are horned owls too. Yeah, and there's burring owls, screech owls, and snowy owls. Wow. You guys know a lot about owls. I love to read books about birds. God sure did make a lot of different birds. Yeah. According to its kind, he created each one. Ducks! Look, sandal cranes, a macaw, a cockatoo. And when he had finished, he still wasn't done. What did he have to make? The waters he filled with an abundance of fish. I want to swim with the fish. I love fish. And creatures that crawl and others that swish. Once. I went snorkeling, and I saw so many beautiful fish. I saw starfish, I saw coral, and I saw sea turtles. Wow, it's like another world under the sea. It's probably fun to be a fish and swim all around. I bet you'd see a lot of cool things. Keep reading, Miss Krista. Okay. There were lobsters and crabs, Turtles and snails, starfish and jellyfish, seals and whales, coral and plankton, grouper and pike. So many wonderful creatures to like. I like them all. I like starfish, but my favorite water animal is the blue whale. I know that they are the biggest animal God ever made. What? Even bigger than an 
elephant? Howie's right. The blue whale is the biggest creature on the earth, even bigger than the elephant. Wow! And when he was done creating them all, he instructed them, both large and small, to multiply filling the sea and the sky. From the fish that swim to the birds that fly, he blessed them all and it ended that way, evening and morning, on the fifth day. What? That's the end? No, Skip. That's just the end of day five. We still have two more days to read about. Oh, that's good. Let's keep reading and we'll see what happens. Day six. God made the land animals on the sixth day. Hey, Howie, that's what? the day that God made you. That's right, <laughs> Gabriella. God made all the animals that live on the land on this day. Oh. He created them all, and they each went their way. The cattle, the lion, the sheep, and the pig. The squirrel that is small. The giraffe that is big. Oh, I know that giraffes are really big. I saw one at the zoo. I don't know why, but I would like to have ride a giraffe. They must have a very good view from up there. Really? I have heard of people riding elephants, but I've never heard of anyone riding a giraffe. <laughs> God saw it was good, but he still wasn't done. He had saved until last the most important one, saying, let us make man in the image of we, a male and a female, a he and a she. This is the day that God made people. From the dust, God formed man with his very own hands and put him in charge of all of the lands. Hey, we were both made on the same day, monkeys and people. That's right. God gave him dominion over fish in the seas, the birds of the air, and the animals that creep. He gave every seed and green herb for their food, and when he beheld, he said it was good. Evening and morning made it day six. six. Creation was perfect with nothing to fix. Wow, I bet it looked so beautiful on this day. That's quite a story, don't you think? Oh yeah. The amazing thing about this story is that it's really, really fascinating and it's all true. Oh, wow. Do you guys want to read about day seven? Yeah. 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 What do you think God might do on day seven? Rest? I don't know. Let's read and we'll see. Day seven. On the seventh day, all the work was complete. God took a rest and thought it was sweet. Like ice cream. Yeah. As he rested from all the work he had done, he made this day a special wow. one. Wow. How 
did he make it special? He blessed this day and set it apart and held his creation near to his heart. Completed now with the earth and heaven, And evening and morning made this day seven. seven. That's right. Oh. That's the end of the story. How did you guys like that story? I loved it. Read it again. Read it again. Did you like it, Gabriella? I did. Well, I could read it again, Skip. But do you know what is more fun than reading this story again? Singing about it. I invited our good friend Elena over to come and teach us a song about how God made everything. I know you're going to like it. So who wants to sing along? I do. I do. Kids, do you want to sing along with us? Yes. Yes. Come on, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hi, Lena. Hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. Lena. Hi. Are you going to play a song? Yes. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It is. All right, ready? Let's start. Okay. God, He made everything. He made everything. He made you and me. On the first day, the first day, said, Let there be light, called the light day. The light day, the darkness was night, and it was good. It was good. God said it was good. It was good. On the next day, the next day, he made the sky blue, split the water, the water. And that was day two, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. On the third day, the third day, God formed the seas, he called the lander, the lander. And made all the trees, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. God, He made everything. He made everything. He made you and me. God, He made everything. He made everything He made you and me On the fourth day The fourth day when God made the lights He made the moon and stars The moon and stars To shine through the night And the sun he made the sun he made To light up the day And it was good it was good God said it was good it was good On the fifth day the fifth day, the sky filled with birds, and the fish came. The fish came as he spoke the words, and he blessed them. He blessed them and said, "Multiply, fill the seas up, the seas up, and the blue sky." And it was good. It was good. God said it was good. It was good. God, He made everything. He made everything He made you and me God He made everything He made everything He made you and me On the sixth day The sixth day The land filled with like the cattle, the cattle, and the creatures that creep. Yeah, God made them, God made them, and sent them their way. All this happens, happens on the sixth day. But God saved the most important thing for the end. He made man and he called him his friend. So he formed him. 
formed him From the dust of the land Yeah, he made him He made him With his very own hands And it was good it was good Very, very good it was good On the last day The last day He got to rest He was finished was finished And this day was blessed He beheld it Beheld it For all that he made And this happened on the seventh day, and it was good. It was good. God said it was good. It was good. God, He made everything. He made everything. He made you and me. God. He made everything He made everything He made you and me God He made everything He made everything He made you and me God It's story time with Howie and Skip and your friends at Monkey See. It's story time, let's grab a book and now it's time to read. Let's dive into the pages and see what we will find. Adventures, explorations, and silly little rhymes. There's danger and mystery and lots and lots of fun. We might travel around the world before the story's done. The words are flying off the pages and soaring through my mind So bring your imagination, cause now it's story time The words are flying off the pages and soaring through my mind So bring your imagination, cause now it's story time It's story time with Howie and Skip and your friends at Monkey See It's story time, let's grab a book and now it's time to read It's story time with Howie and Skip and your friends at Monkey See. It's story time, let's grab a book and now it's time to read.